Now this is a video I've been waiting some time to do, and I finally got a character set up to do it. We beat the game, so we have access to all the keys. Anyways, there are 30 silver keys in total. If you have the normal version of Fable, not the Lost Chapters version, there are only 25. However, if you have the Lost Chapters, or you have Fable Anniversary, there are going to be 30 keys in total that you need to obtain. Now, although there are 30 keys in total, it is worth mentioning that you only really need to get 25 keys because there's only one 30 key chest and it contains a weapon that is arguably useless. So unless you just absolutely want that weapon that badly, uh, there's really no point in getting all 30 keys. So, uh, you know, do with that information what you will, but I personally suggest you only really get 25 keys because the 30 key chest just isn't worth it. And of course, another point is that you're going to need both a fishing rod and a spade to get all the keys because you're going to be digging up a lot of them and you're going to be fishing a lot of them. And the first one actually is here in the guild woods and you fish it here from this pond. So we will grab this one if it will show me on the screen. There it is. <clears throat> All right, so there is silver key number one. And yep, there's the pop-up, so that is definitely the first one we have found so far. So that one, pretty easy, but still not even the easiest one. All right, now the next key is in lookout point. It is actually probably one of the easiest ones to get, and it is most likely the first one that most people have gotten, and it's right behind these bushes. You just thwack them and walk down and grab it. It's a pretty easy one to get. Alright, so this next key is in Bowerstone South, and it is just as easy as that last one we did. It's just kind of floating up there on top of the clothing shop, so yeah, you just wander on in here and grab it. There's nothing to it, really. You just wander on in here and grab it. Alright, so this next key is another one that you're going to have to fish, and you get it from Fisher Creek here. So it's the second one from the right. It should be this one right here. <laughs> So there you go, Bob's your uncle. That was a pretty easy one too. All right, now this next silver key is again one of the easiest ones and it is most likely either like the first or second. It's it's gonna be one of the first ones that you've most likely gotten in your playthroughs. And it's obviously this one right here. You just walk up to it and grab it. It's just literally sitting here. It's a pretty easy one, but uh, I guess it's a little easy to miss too if you're not wandering around. All right, so this next key is once again another fishing exercise, and you're gonna find it at Orchard Farm over by where you did the hob killing contest. You're just gonna go all the way to the end of the dock here, and you're gonna fish off the end, and your key will be in the fishing spot. <laughs> so there it is, there's your silver key. Not too shabby. Now this next one is also a pretty easy one. You get it from the Rose Cottage, which is the area where you start the hob cave quest. And you just simply dig it up from this circle of flowers here. And there it is. And this one is also of note because it is the earliest and, well, I don't know if it's the earliest one, but it's the easiest key to duplicate during a quest. If you are playing the normal Lost Chapters version of the game, that is, and you have access to hero saves, that is the legendary hero save silver key. Uh, I have a video on that, actually, if you would like to know what I'm talking about with that. All right, so this next one is found inside of Hob Cave at the very end near the focus chamber. And it's in this ring of mushrooms. And much like the one before, you just simply walk up to it and dig it out of the mushroom circle. Pretty easy. Now, once again, this is also noteworthy for the same reason. Uh, you can duplicate both keys during the Hob Cave quest if you so choose. It is a little bit more work to go all the way to the end to do the hero save glitch, but it does allow you to duplicate two silver keys with one hero save glitch as opposed to just the one key at a time. So that's, that's something to make note of. All right, so this next key is found in Darkwood Lake. And while it's a pretty easy key to get, it's a pretty easy key to miss because, well, if you don't know about it, you're probably not just gonna randomly shoot this circle with a, uh, an arrow. So yeah, again, pretty easy to get. You just aim your bow here, shoot it in the circle, and a key appears. So again, like I said, pretty easy key to get, but if you don't know it's there, uh, it is really easy to miss. All right, so this next key is found at the Ancient Cullis Gate, and it is again a pretty easy key to get. Uh, you just have to fish for it. So yeah, pretty easy. You just gotta, just gotta fish it out. 
All right, so this next key is found at the gray house, and it is another fishing one. You just got to go to the little pool over here at the end where the demon door is, and your key is waiting for you in the ripples. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. All right, so this next key is at the Memorial Gardens located in Oakvale. Uh, so this one is a little bit tricky. You're going to be digging it from the ground. It's going to be in front of here somewhere. Just got to wait for that little shovel icon to pop up. Wait, they're both axe-wielding statues. Come on, buddy. There it is. This axe-wielding statue. Not not your mom. The the Roanoke the axe. Not the Murin Great Axe. Okay, where'd it go? Where'd, where'd the thing go? There it is. Like I said, it's pretty easy, but it's pretty tricky. Just, uh, you know, you got to find a little icon and then it's easy. Oh, and then you get a great axe. That's right. I forgot about that. So this next key is also pretty easy to get. It's in the Twin Blades camp area, the first area that you enter. And there should be a ring of flowers somewhere around here. Yes, here we go. Right over here by the chest. You're just going to dig here and there should be a silver key. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so this next key is found at the Witchwood Stones. It's found right in front of the demon door that you find the archaeologist at. You just fish it out of this ripple in the pond here, and it's uh, all your yours. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. All right, so this next key is a pretty easy one, but again, it's a pretty easy one to miss, too. You just dig it out of the ground right in front of this statue here, which, again, pretty easy to get, but if you don't already know that it's buried here, you know... There's nothing really telling you to dig here. There's no circle of flowers or circle of mushrooms, but here it is. Pretty simple to get. This next key is in Knothole Glade, and again, it's a pretty easy one. It's just another dig up spot, and it's gonna be found between two houses. There's gonna be a ring of ferns, and here it is. Simple when you know how. And uh, I guess it's worth noting that while it is in a ring of ferns, you know, unless you know to look between these two houses for a ring of ferns, you're probably going to miss that. All right, now this next key is a bit of a doozy, actually. There are two ways to achieve this key, and the choice is yours. Uh, now, this one basically just involves either marrying Lady Grey or exposing Lady Grey. Uh, doing so will get you access to the Bowerstone Manor, which the key will be found in the bed once you search it. So anyways, it's a pretty convoluted quest. You gotta like talk to her, talk to some other people. You gotta get her a black rose. You gotta find her necklace, a bunch of stupid shit. It's not the worst quest in the world, but it is a bit of a hassle if you're trying to do a silver key run through. I suppose she's got, well, she so talk to this lady after talking to her. And once you talk to that lady, she's gonna tell you she likes black roses. You get the black rose, All right? So once you talk to her about that, I believe, Maybe I need to talk to her again, actually. Here you have a house. I would ah, yeah, that's right. You have to buy a house. Don't forget to do that. So, yeah, she tells you to buy a house. You got to buy a house and talk to her again. That's right. Don't forget to talk to her again. Then this guy's little green dot pops up on your map. And, you know, just in case, I always like to talk to this lady as well. And then we got to go back to the Oakvale Memorial Gardens, sadly. All right, so you go to the Memorial Gardens again. You'll find these two people fucking here. And then you gotta go yeah, sneak up to them. And they spill the beans. The two boats on the beach. Oh, he buried it between the two boats on the beach. Alright, so once you're done talking to those guys, or not talking to them, I guess you're uh, just kind of overhearing their conversation. Uh, you should be able to dig it up from here now. And boom, we got Lady Grey's necklace, so we can go back to her. Alright, and then you just give it to her, and you should be marrying. Oh, I already killed Thunder, that's right. And so the hero married. I forgot that you're also supposed to fight Thunder. But uh yeah, I guess if you if you kill Thunder, like as in like steal his soul at the end of the game, like actually fucking kill the dude. Yeah, obviously you don't have to fight Thunder after that. But yeah, here it is. Here's the thing that I just did all that stupid shit for. There's the silver key. But yeah, of course alternatively, you can uh turn Lady Grey in, get her arrested. Or whatever the deal is with that. And then you become the mayor. And then you still have access to Barrowstone Manor. So you can still get the key. 
All right, so the next two keys actually are going to be found here in Windmill Hill. And the first one is going to be this ring of flowers here by the Scarecrow. So, yeah, pretty easy. All you got to do is find the ring of flowers and dig it up. And then the second key, similarly, is going to be up here and behind the house in this ring of flowers. And Bob's your uncle. Two keys. Now, with this next key, this is where things start to get interesting. And this ties into the fact that I have actually killed Thunder. And I did not decide to actually fight him, uh, you know, traditionally for Lady Grey's marriage. And so, normally it would be behind this demon door, which you only gain access to from the inside of after falling off the cliff from Headsman's Hill during the fight with Thunder. So, under normal circumstances, the only way to reach this key is when you're fighting thunder and you fall down into here but there is there's there's two ways actually you can get in there without doing the fight now the first way is to uh i guess you just get as close as you can to the left side of the chest and you do a recall teleport so you're going to teleport somewhere else so you teleport somewhere and then you're going to do a recall teleport back and it should spawn you at the bottom. And Bob's your uncle. You're down here where you need to be. All right. So, yep, here it is in this little pond here in these ripples. All you got to do is fish it out. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. Now, there is another way to get in here, and it involves using the summoning glitch. Uh, which you use summon an assassin rush to glitch through doors and whatnot. You can glitch through the opposite side of the demon door, um, and it'll allow you through. Yeah, you know, I, I did actually defeat him in combat. I fucking killed him, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, do know that if you get, if you manage to find your way in here, the only way out is to teleport out, which, you know, not a problem, but you're not actually gonna be able to open that demon door unless you fight Thunder during that fight, because that is the condition to open the, the demon door is to fight him, but it doesn't count when you fight him for his soul uh, in the Lost Chapters version. It's, it's weird. I don't know why it's like that. All right, so the next three keys, actually, are going to be here at the Litchfield Graveyard. They're all actually, I believe, right next to each other for the most part. So the first one is going to be inside of one of the crypts, I believe. Oh, there we go. Score on Daith Crypt. That's the one. So you're going to search in here. <sighs> And boom, you got a silver key. And then just east of here, there should be some ripples somewhere. Here it is. So yeah, the next one should be in these ripples here. Boom, look at that first try. That's nice. And Bob's your uncle on that one. And then the last one is going to be found in Mary's Crypt here with the Sutter family. I believe that's the Sutter family. And you're going to find Katie Sutter, Mary Sutter. So it's in Mary Sutter's grave. And Bob's your uncle. There's three keys. Now, again, it is worth noting that this is, like, considered the power spot for key duplication. I don't think I've actually done a video on this one yet, sadly. But you can use the Litchfield Graveyard quest to duplicate three silver keys at a time, which, I mean, they're actually all right next to each other. You got, you know, one boom, one boom, and then one right here. So it is actually a really feasible quest to do the duplication glitch with, especially considering that there's three silver keys that can be duplicated all at once. So yes, definitely worth making a note of that for sure. All right, so this next key is found at Cliffside Path. It's a pretty easy one to get, but it's a pretty annoying one to get to if you are not getting it during the quest because you have to do a lot of backtracking to get here. But it's found in this ring of mushrooms here. You just simply dig it up. Nothing much to it. All right, so this next key is going to be found at Hook Coast. It's a pretty easy one to get since, you know, you actually enter the lighthouse a couple times uh, during different quests. But it is found in one of these. Not that one. This one? There's the one. Yep, you just 
walk up to the cabinet and grab it. It's just right there. Pretty easy to get. With the Hook Coast key, that makes 25 keys. So technically, if you want, you can stop here. You can stop now. You don't really need any more keys beyond this, uh, but there are a few more that can be gained. So we'll grab those real quick. So this next key is gonna be here in the Lost Bay. It should be in this grave here, I believe. And Bob's your uncle. And yeah, again, it's a pretty easy one to get, but it's a, I guess, pretty easy one to miss if you're not just kind of wandering about here. And it also happens to be right next to the 30 key chest, which again, I find to be just entirely fucking pointless, especially for how difficult it is to get all 30 keys, which you will see here shortly. All right, so this next one, which is the last of like the normal keys really to gain, is gonna be found in Necropolis here. And it's right at this little ripple here where the broken bridge is. Oh, that was cool. That was the first one we broke. Cool. Yeah, just fucking snapped the line on the last key, dude. That's so fucking cool. It's too cold. That's why the line snapped. Are you actual? It's not actually like that, though, right? This is just like the hardest fishing spot in the entire game. Is that what I have to understand here? Fuck! Why? Like, you click once and it's like, nope. Did I at least loosen it up or some shit? There we go. So be careful, because apparently that's literally the hardest fishing spot in the entire game or something. I don't know what the deal was with that. Yeah, anyways, that is key number 27. And with that, there are only three keys left, which are part of the Lost Chapters version of the game. But yeah, due to the nature of these last three keys, I'm not actually going to show uh, video footage here of them. I might try to find some video footage that I have of them already. But yeah, just due, due to the fact that they are like very specific quest related keys. I mean, I guess you could say the Lady Grey one was too, but that one wasn't so bad. The, the last three are going to be the Bowerstone South book collection quest key so this one actually requires you to find and donate all 25 books so that is 10 good books and 15 bad books i believe um which that is that is a huge doozy like if you have not done that before that is quite an undertaking actually the next one of course is going to be the fisher creek one which isn't too bad but i just don't want to go through the effort of doing all three of these uh, you basically just have to get second place or higher in the fishing competition which is actually really really easy to do and then the last one is going to be in Oakvale. And all you have to do is win the chicken kicking competition with a score of at least 150 points, but less than 250 points. Uh, because I think you get some sort of extra special prize for getting more than 250 points. Uh, so it's kind of weird, but you have to get less than 250 points. Again, it's really easy to get. You just kind of like get more than 150 and then start kicking chickens off the edge of the dock. But yeah, anyways, that is all of the silver keys. So I, I definitely hope this helped anybody out who has struggled with silver keys. Of course, if you're playing the Lost Chapters version of the game, you can take a little bit of the easy route and do some key duplication using some of the spots that I mentioned during this video. But yeah, in my opinion, you only really need the 25 keys because this, this chest right here is going to be the best chest in the game. Uh, as long as you can get the Arkans battle armor, in my opinion, you're pretty much good. You definitely don't need the stupid sword that's in the 30 key chest because it really is just that bad of a sword it's it's not good but like as long as you get up to 25 keys in my opinion you've gotten like all the keys you really need but yeah that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys found it useful if you did make sure to leave a like it definitely helps me out and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter and of course for as little as 99 cents a month you can become a channel member help support this channel monetarily help me pay some bills around here that sort of thing but yeah with that being said this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable Anniversary and all of the silver keys in the game and I will see you guys in the next video peace out